severe intestinal parasite that has slightly different treatment methods than your typical parasite. It's most commonly present in kids and young goats. Symptoms include scouring, weight loss, loss of appetite, unthriftiness, lethargy, anemia, and eventually death. If you suspect coccidia, it's a good idea to get a fecal done by a vet or do one yourself to know for sure. Coccidia is present in the soil of any goat pen and is basically impossible to get rid of. Kids are born without an immunity and they slowly build an immunity as they grow. In around two years, their immunity will be fully developed, though adults can still get coccidia. It takes about two weeks for a coccidia infestation to occur, so kids aren't at risk until around two weeks old. There are several management practices you can implement to prevent coccidia, including keeping all feed off the ground and making sure you have minimal or no waste feeders. Always make sure to provide plenty of minerals to pregnant does and kids, because a lot of times when kids are mineral deficient, they will lick the dirt. Make sure your goats have plenty of space and aren't overhoused, keeping the bare ground and short grass to a minimum. Be sure to provide plenty of hay or alternative roughage to grass, especially when your grass is less than two to four inches or wet. Pretty much the only over-the-counter treatment for coccidia is amprolium or chorid. If you get a prescription from the vet, you have a few more options, such as sulfadimethoxine and sodium sulfadimethoxine. The brand names for those two are Solmet, Albon, and Dimethox. Also over-the-counter is Tolchazerol or Baycox, but not as many vets have it, though it is a very effective method, and you can actually buy it illegally online without a vet prescription. Don't tell anyone I said that. Coccidia is heavily related to copper and copper deficiency. Coccidia loves copper deficient goats. Most of the time, the only goats I have that get coccidia are copper deficient. A lot of times, copper deficiency symptoms will go hand in hand with coccidia symptoms, so be sure to know and recognize copper deficiency symptoms. To prevent copper deficiency, provide a good loose mineral and supplement copper when necessary. This copper supplementation could be copper bullets for older goats over three months and replement for goats under three months that don't have fully developed rumens yet. For more information on copper and copper deficiency, check out the description below for a link to my video on copper deficiency. Coxie prevention should be given to kids at around two weeks old. Some breeders like to keep their kids away from the adults and bottle feed them because it's the adults that carry the coxie. In my opinion though, keeping them away from the adults is more hassle than it's worth. And if they're gonna get coxie, they're gonna get coxie and you're gonna have to deal with it anyway. So I just keep them with the adults and practice good management and coxie prevention. Coxie in adults is very rare, though it can happen and it's often triggered by stress. Coughing and weight loss or unthriftiness are the main symptoms. The loss of milk production and all the other typical symptoms can also be present. Coxie in adults is combated with the exact same methods as in all other goats. Goats, though I have found coxie in adults is usually not quite as fatal. Always be sure to try and catch and treat coccidia early.